Yeah, and turning to the numbers, we are looking at how many times Vice President Harris has made stops here in North Carolina. WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg is getting the facts. Well, guys, this is actually the second week in a row that Harris has visited North Carolina. Last week, she was in Raleigh with President Biden on a campaign stop. And let's take a look at her record of visiting our state. Now, since she took office in 2020, she has been here 12 times. Just this year alone, she's been to North Carolina four times, and two of those times were right here in the Queen City. If that number seems high to you, that's because it is. We spoke with Scott Huffman. He's a political, political science professor, and he explains why the vice president keeps coming back to the Tar Heel State. So Donald Trump has been a black swan event. Um, that has trickled into North Carolina in very important ways. So you see the Democrats coming in, trying to gin up support in areas like Charlotte, which is one of the fastest growing metro communities in the United States. Huffman says this is just the beginning. As we move closer to the election, we'll see even more candidates here in North Carolina since the state is perceived as a battleground this time around. And I think this is going to continue, you know, uh, even through the primary season, but even after the conventions, uh, North Carolina is going to be viewed as a potential purple state. Even though it is leaned red, I think North Carolina is going to be a target for the National Democratic Party, especially because of down ticket races. With your Verify Fact Check, I'm Megan Bragg. And remember, WCNC Charlotte is your home for the very latest from the campaign trail. Just take out your phone, scan the QR code on your screen, and that will take you to our politics page, the latest updates from local and national elections.